<laughs> hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to another class. And today we're going to talk about the past perfect. All right? So this is not present perfect, and I do advise you to watch that class and do the exercises, get used to present perfect before watching the past perfect. Right? So what is the past perfect? Well, the past perfect is when you want to focus on something that happened before or when something else happened. Confused yet? No, it's about the past of the past. Let's be simple in the explanation. It's the past of the past, my friends. Let's see how it applies to real life. So, the film had already, okay, we can add already, the film had already started when I arrived, which means that I arrived there and the film has already begun. But we don't use present perfect in this case because I'm already talking about something in the past. So I arrived there and the film had already begun, right? Or started, but I just wanted to use an irregular verb. Still, the film had already started, third column, oops, wrong pen, third column, remember that? Yeah, are you getting used to the third column? Past participle, it is good guys, it is very nice to know them. And arrived, this is second column, this is simple past, okay? So be careful, you're going to be using probably, right, uh, both of them at the same time, in the same sentence. Okay, the other sentence here, he had, and then you can see that had goes for everybody because it's the past of have, right? So, he had, they had, I had done something, anyway. He had done, third column, okay, his homework by the time his mom got home, all right? Get home is the same thing as arrive, but I wanted to change. So, done, third column, got second, okay? So, he had done his homework by the time his mom got home. So when she arrived, when she got home, the homework was done. All right? So be smart, kids. Do your homework before your parents get home. Still, guys, let's see now how to make negative sentences. Okay. The film had not. Okay, in this case, we have to kill already. So the film had not started, but do you actually want to speak had not? If you want, you, it's fine, but you can say hadn't. The film hadn't started when I arrived. Okay, so it's cool. I'm still on time for the movie. Second, he had done his homework. He hadn't or had not done his homework by the time his mom got home. So, he was in trouble. Okay, so questions with the past perfect. So, same situation, okay? Something that happened in the past, but before something else happened, right? So, had the plane left when you came to the airport? Oh, there's an eye missing. <laughs> there you go. So, had the plane left, we can add already here, okay, if you want when you came to the airport, all right? Very good. And you can answer, no, it hadn't, okay? Or, yes, it had, and then you missed the flight. Very good. This one is a little story. It's about a hypothetical situation because you use had, the past perfect, a lot for hypothetical situations, okay? So, look, you went to the park alone? What if you had got lost? Okay, now, American English, third column, got, British, gotten. Okay, and let me put it British here. So. There you go. What if you had gotten lost? But anyway, guys, the first question, okay? This is informal, but you can ask like this. You went to the park alone? 
Because we know that the correct sentence, right, the correct question form in the past is, did you go to the park alone? Great. What if, what if it didn't happen, right? He didn't get lost. But what if he had gotten lost? Okay? And talking about hypothetical situations, regrets. Take a look. I wish I hadn't spent any money. But I did spend money. Okay? So I wish I hadn't done that before. So that is it, students. Thank you so much for following our classes, okay? Attending online, of course, but attending every single class that I hope you are, right? So stay tuned for more. Do the exercises if necessary. Watch it again, okay? And work out. That's life, okay? Work hard, play hard, and stop partying a little. Just, just work hard, okay? Thank you so much and bye-bye.